What's up, everyone? This is Carl Kanai, the originator of streetwear fashion, established 1989, Brooklyn, New York. You can't fake the funk, because either you're real or you're not. You think about all the artists that mentioned my names in their songs, they didn't have to do that. That's one thing that money can't buy. Money can't buy legacy, and it can't buy history. So we grew up in an area in Brooklyn called Flatbush, which is like an area where a lot of immigrants from Jamaica, Trinidad, all the islands kind of lived in the same neighborhood. And that's when fashion became real to me. I was like 12 years old, so I'm thinking we're about to go outside and play. And these kids started sizing me up. And it's like, man, what kind of shoes you got on? He said, man, get out of here. Those sneakers are whack. So that really what reinforced my mentality that, man, fashion is my calling because I never wanted to feel demoralized. We always wanted to outdress each other. So I remember I decided one day, I thought about my dad's tailor. I was like, man, if I make an outfit with my dad's tailor, none of these kids will have it on. So when I made that outfit and I wore it around the way, everybody's like, oh man, where'd you get that from? Where'd you get it from? So you know I ain't about to give up my secrets now about my tailor. I was like, nah, if you want one, I make you one. But the most important day was one day we were sitting in the park and I was bragging to these girls saying how I made these outfits for these guys. They didn't believe me. So the guy comes over, his name is Joe. She's like, uh, who made that outfit for you? And he's like, Carl made it, why, what's up? He takes off his jacket, he shows it to her. And she's like, yeah, if Carl made it, how come his name ain't on it then? And that's when it hit me. I need to put my name in the clothing. I went home that night, I started thinking of a name. I, I wanted to feel an emotion from a brand. Can I was a question I used to ask myself all the time, like, can I build a brand that's gonna dress hip hop and be the face of hip hop? If I call myself, can I? But every day I have to answer that question, yes I can. If I look at my journey, there's no instant gratification to what we did. It was a lot of hard work, determination, day after day after day, coming to Los Angeles, our store getting robbed at gunpoint. There's no one that could show you Biggie, Tupac, Aaliyah, Dr. Dre, Snoop, Nas, and campaigns through the 90s, and not paid campaigns, campaigns because they love the culture and the brand connected to hip hop. It takes one person that looks like you, that you can relate to, to achieve success on a certain level to make you feel like if he could do it, I could do it.